I told you the battery is gonna die and of course it did because why would it not? But you know the answer in YouTube is buy more battery. So I'm becoming professional now, right? So where were we? How are you guys? Welcome. My name is Natalia. I'm from Natoka Design, the amazing creative comms company in London for a decade now, almost, that can just turn any of your stories into engaging content. That was a very, very professional intro. <laughs> As always, subscribe, like, share with your postman, friend, you know the deal. So today I would love to take an opportunity to introduce you to a wonderful artist that I've met recently because I believe that the more of us know and appreciate artists and art and understand their journeys and understand their art more, the better for the world because we'll be more all in tuned and engaged and inspired. So the name Chantelle Martin, that's her name, was kind of in my mind for a while now. I was introduced to her and I saw her work, which is beautiful, whimsical lines and very kind of simplistic looking, beautiful black and white um, creations with lines, with words, with faces, with eyes, always telling a story, always asking very, let's call it challenging questions, very human questions, words that make you think. She's amazing. She's amazing. I didn't know her for a long time and since I was introduced to her I was curious. I was curious but I didn't know more about her story and for me I think a lot of the time whether it's music, movie, actors, singers, dancers, anyone that creates I love to know the story. I love to connect with it more. It makes it more meaningful for me. It makes it more special if I know and I can find a piece of myself in them or I can connect with something they say or create it gives me more meaning to enjoying and embracing their art rather than just looking at it from a oh that's pretty view understand that it's not just actually drawing it's more than that there's a story there's a meaning that she wants people to connect with she gave a really important comment which i think it's very useful to hear that you don't just wait for something to happen if you want to make something happen you make it happen you do the action you stand up there and think what you can do with what you have and the comment was around i stopped playing the if game and looked at who where what i had access to so exactly what i said she wasn't trying to be like no, oh, poor me, you know, I'm here, how do I do this? She was literally thinking step by step, who do I have access to? Who can I say hi to? Where can I go? What can I do? And step by step, it happened. She created a beautiful mural on her wall in her room in New York and she was picked up by the New York Times that asked her, can we make a story about that? crazy random but these things happen clearly it's not a thing that she just called someone to do it for them so i felt like i so agree with that where it's all about the actions you're taking at the end of the day if there's no actions there's nothing going to happen so i can relate with that because that's how i started my business i went out there i made things happen i asked loads of people for help i connected with tons of people i didn't know even yet what's my business name what's my card what's my logo i was just there actively utilizing the things that I have, the people that I know, the places I can go to, and I did everything I could. And I'm still sometimes so impressed with the energy I had back then. I sound like an old lady, but in all honesty, it wouldn't be possible now in the same way. Maybe my journey would be different. I'm not saying nothing would happen, but something very different because it was just the right moment, the right people I was meeting, the right energy. I was younger, you know, I have to say I was 10 years younger. It's different. People had more time. Everyone was meeting more. You know, most of my friends now have families, are away from London or are busier or whatever it's just it was different so i'm very proud of the younger me for stepping up and just believing that this is my moment and i'm gonna do it and i was like yes girl yes <laughs> you don't necessarily have to be an artist but if you draw and you have that connection between your head and your heart and your hand you 
are helping yourself guide yourself. And so if you're not drawing, I do encourage you to pick up a pen tomorrow and uh, you know, find any opportunity that you can to create. And then one last thought that she shared I thought was wonderful. She said, just start sharing what you do. And it sounds so simple, but I kid you not, I met so many people, and maybe you're one of them, who are incredibly talented, but hiding away their work. And it could be a poetry, it could be drawing, it could be dancing, it could be singing, it could be sewing, it could be cooking, it could be coaching, it could be anything. There's so many things, there's as many things as many people are there. There's as many skills. I want to share the process. I want you to see the work being created because then that creates a bigger connection and an experience between all of us. And what's the point of art if it's not to make and to share, to make and to share, and to make and to share? And I know so many people who are too shy, who don't believe in themselves they could do something, who do the whole card of being busy and at work. And you know, it breaks my heart because I see so much talent around me that doesn't want to surface <laughs> for different reasons. So what she said here, just start sharing what you do. It could be as simple as once a week, post one thing on Instagram. And even don't put your name if you're shy, just like put it out there. There's so many platforms now that I didn't have access to when I was starting and I'm sure she didn't. It's ridiculous. You can share your stuff and your creations with so many more people than back in the days. And I, again, I sound old, but it was, the tw Twitter was a thing when you know you just like tweeted a lot of people and did things but there was nothing like Instagram there was no proper let's say YouTube was starting it's a shame that I didn't start actually YouTube before because I wish I did because I would really enjoy it I would figure it out how to edit it probably with help of some friends and yeah and it, it was just not the same right so when i think about now sometimes people just start and they blow up and i'm not saying that's the journey you have to have or want to have to blow up and be famous none of that but if you want to share what you create to let other people experience what you do and let them feel things because at the end of the day that's what creating is you want people you want to evoke an emotion you want to evoke an action you want to evoke some sort of feeling. So if you want to experience that, I also highly recommend sharing your work. No time to plan, no time to hesitate, but more importantly, you have no time to be anyone else but yourself. You have no time to be anyone else but yourself. And now imagine you repeat that, you repeat that, you repeat that, you repeat that, you repeat that. What you're doing is you're accelerating this process of extracting your style, extracting your fingerprint, extracting your identity as an artist. So when people say, well, where does your style come from? Where does your identity as an artist come from? You say, well, it's already in here. She's wonderful. I hope I can like interview her one day. That would be wonderful. Why not? And yeah, and then we got signed beautiful books, uh, art books by her limited edition as well i'm so excited it was an amazing event amazing night everyone was so in tune with what she was saying and i felt very special to be there so i highly recommend you check chantelle out and her work and connect with her and see what she means by her work and what she says and yeah you might just be inspired to do something or think of something or feel something that's what art should do i would love to hear from you in the comments down below if you enjoyed this sort of video if it was any useful to introduce you to some of the artists that i love and met and i will see you in the next one very soon bye and so if i see this it's like soft like the side of a face and so in a way for me I will do a nose and a mouth and an eye and it's amazing that that's only four lines but such expression and so when I my mind goes blank and I don't know what I'm doing I just do dashes to keep looking busy <laughs> <laughs> you're all watching me